Alright, Randy, so the rule of the game is you have a budget of $5,000 and a time limit of five minutes to pick out a wheel, tire, and suspension combo from fitmentindustries.com for a random car that I will tell you now. Are you ready? Sure. Alright, so the car is a 2015 Ford Mustang. Okay. And your time starts now. Okay. 2015 Mustang, huh? I have a buddy that has one. I love it. 2015, you said? Yep. Okay. Dude, whose computer is this? Eric's. This thing is a pile. <laughs> hmm. I'm currently looking for some thick boys for the rear. Um, kind of struggling still. But we're trying, we're getting there. $5,000, huh? Do we list good suspension for, uh, for these? Oh, we got BCs. Good enough for me. Let's see if we can not go over budget on wheels and tires alone. Oh, they get pricey. <laughs> Already over budget. Those Volks are nice though. Those, uh, was it the ZE40s? I like those. All right, you are halfway there. What do we got going on here? You got the halfway mark? Okay, we're going ESRs. I put Nankings on a Mustang. F it. Where is airlift performance? Oh, am I gonna go over budget? I got five grand. Yep. We're gonna slap. We're gonna dump it on some coilovers, I guess. Two, one, and time. And time. What did you end up going with? So wheels and tires, I kind of went with a staggered setup. Uh, for the fronts, I went with a Rohana RF2 in the gloss red with a 20 by 10 plus 25. And the rear, I went with a 20 by 11 with a plus 25. Uh, front tires were running a 255, 35, 20. It's a little bit of meat, and then we went with a 285, 30. ZR20, and they're both uh, Nitto NT555 G2s. And then for suspension, uh, airlift was a little bit out of the budget this time, so I actually ended up going with an Eibach Pro Street Coilover Kit. Um, I pretty much, I picked that one, honestly, because I believe it's the best riding. Eibach's always been super good with their company and their quality products, so I kind of went with them. ESR SR01s in black chrome and Toyo Proxy R888s in 285, 35, 20s. And then for suspension, I went with uh, KW V1s. All right, so your total amount came out to $4,356. So not too bad. So your total comes out to $4,448. Crushed it. So then we're gonna go ahead and do a mock-up render of both of your guys' builds. When those are done, we'll come grab you, show you guys both the renders that you picked and kind of go over them and argue it up. Perfect. Sounds like a plan. All right, guys, so we went back to the lab. We did up some renders of both your guys' builds, and now we're here. We're gonna let you guys battle it out. You have a picture of each other's cars that you guys built. So go ahead and explain what you picked and why you picked what you picked and who you think is better. So I went with the Rohana RF2s in that gloss candy, I think it's can like a candy red finish. Um, then I put on some Eibach Street coilovers. Uh, they're pro street, so it'll kind of soften the rim. So on a Mustang, it'll drop the rim. And it'll nice give it a nice little sag when you get on it. Um, went with like a more all around tire. So and something that's good on dry, something that you can take to the strip too if you really want to. Went with the Nitto NT55 G2. 255-35 in the front and 285-30 in the rear. Um, that way you can do kind of daily use it and still get that track performance out of a decent tire that will actually last you a decent amount of time. Couldn't bag it, it was a little out of the budget, but you know, 
I think it looks good. Ready? I went with the ESR SR01s, and I went with Toyo Proxy R888s, and KW V1 coilovers. Did more of a track setup, did a little bit of throwback with like the mesh style wheels, um, and it matched your render really well, because I thought it was gonna be a white car. But I, uh, I dig it, it matches the car very well. But yeah, I went with the track setup more so than like a stance, flashy setup. That's fair. So why do you think yours is better than Charlie's? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's just different, I don't know. I have a buddy that comes to my shop and he has a track setup and I, it looks cool, it's different. You don't really see it, like 18s. Granted, like these ESRs don't fit on a Mustang in 18s. It says, it says you picked 20 by 10 and a half. That's what I said. <laughs> thought it was 18s. <laughs> I still dig it. I, if it was 18s, it. it'd be perfect. Okay. I but good. I did 20s, you know, we got the, the two O's. But um, I like the track setup a little bit more, um, especially when it comes to a Mustang. I've, I've ripped uh, a couple of our employees' Mustangs around and my buddies, and I think a track setup would be a lot more fun. They're blessed. Why do you think mine's are better than Rainey's? Because mine. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I think they're pretty much equal. I, I like the Pro Streets versus the K1s. I think there's a little bit better handling with the iBox. Um, I think the quality is both the same for both. Um, the only thing I really like different versus my, my setup versus Randy's is I'm not a fan of that mesh style wheel on a uh, so-called muscle car that they are today. Um, I like the more five spoke design, uh, a little bit bigger, bolder. I think with that mesh style wheel, I think, I think those have a step lip on them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah with that step, step lip, it just makes that face kind of look small. Uh, even at probably an 18 or a 20 or whatever with what he went. I like those for Hondas because they do look big. I think 20s look good on Mustang. Vote for your pick in, Jesus. Yeah, <laughs> vote for my pick because I have less followers on the gram than him. Make me feel better. Vote for Rainey. He deserves the love. Um, Agreed. Yeah, check it in the comments. If you need wheels, tires, or suspension, hit up at ministries.com. Don't, yeah. Don't forget to subscribe where? YouTube? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, <laughs> on Reddit. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Don't forget, to, <laughs> son of a bitch, I'm a kid crying over here. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. Fitmanindustries.com. Peace. Peace. <laughs>